The Savannah River Sites K Area Complex, the Department of Energy Category 1 Special Nuclear Material Storage Facility, is at the heart of national security and the United States Nuclear Non-Proliferation Goals. The skilled team at K Area directs the inventory, security, and safe storage of much of DOE's excess plutonium and other special nuclear materials. The K Complex has a rich history. The main building in the complex, 105K, is a former production reactor used to produce nuclear materials for the U.S. during the Cold War era. The reactor was shut down near the end of the Cold War. Because of its robust construction, security infrastructure, and rigorous seismic and structural upgrades, 105K was chosen by DOE in early 2000 to service their premier plutonium storage facility. Since 2002, K Area has received and stored excess plutonium from across the DOE complex, including Rocky Flats, Hanford, SRS's FB line, Los Alamos National Laboratory, and Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory. Plutonium materials stored in K Area are sealed inside DOE Standard 3013 containers that are placed inside robust, state-of-the-art certified shipping packages referred to as 9975s. The dilute or downblend and dispose strategy involves processing surplus plutonium to oxide, mixing it with an adulterant to inhibit plutonium recovery, and disposing the resulting waste at the Waste Isolation Pilot Plant, or WIP, a geologic repository in New Mexico. This strategy supports removal of nuclear materials from South Carolina. The downblend process begins with the retrieval of the 9975 or similar package from storage. The package is opened and the 3013 container is removed and transferred to a glove box for processing. The nested 3013 configuration consists of a welded outer 3013, an inner 3013, and a convenience can. Inside the glove box, the container is cut open and the plutonium oxide is removed from the convenience can. The oxide material is then ground as needed and passed through a sieve to prepare it for downblend. The downblend process takes place within blend cans, which are pre-staged in the glove box. The prepared oxide is added to each blend can, which contains an adulterant material. The blend can is weighed and its contents mixed to complete the process. As many as 30 blend cans can result from the downblend process for a single 3013 container. The next step is to place the blend can containing the mixture in a shield can, a robust outer container or rock. This container serves to reduce radiological dose for workers handling the material once it exits the glove box. Once closed, the rock is removed from the glove box. The disposal process begins with the addition of a radiological barrier in a can-bag-can configuration. An assay is performed to determine the nuclear material content. Up to two blend cans are then placed in a criticality control overpack, or CCO. CCOs are staged and then transferred to the characterization and storage pad, which is outside of the 105K building. The K area characterization and storage pad provides storage and processing capacity for around 4,000 CCOs. This facility allows on-location characterization and staging for direct shipments of CCOs from K area to the waste isolation pilot plant which is critical to support the long-term plutonium disposition mission. The characterization process is necessary to ensure the down-blended material meets the WIP waste acceptance criteria. WIP's central characterization program team, embedded at the CCO pad, then assays the CCOs for nuclear material content and conducts an X-ray to ensure there are no prohibited items. Upon successful completion of characterization, the CCOs are staged for an interim period and ultimately configured and loaded for shipment. In December 2022, K-Area completed the first shipment of down-blended surplus plutonium. 
Shipping directly from K area saves time and resources and allows for more efficient removal of plutonium from the state of South Carolina. K area is also expanding missions to expedite the plutonium disposition process. Surplus Plutonium Disposition Project is a capital line item project which will provide additional processing capacity for the 105K facility. We're adding three additional glove boxes and support equipment to allow for a significant increase in downblend capability. Project execution requires a highly skilled workforce to meet cost and schedule commitments. Successful integration with the existing facility will be vital to our success. The new facilities will contain greater shielding capability, which will reduce radiological exposure to the workers processing the material. Employees at the K-Area Complex have a long history of using ingenuity to meet the nation's nuclear material needs. From operating reactors, to plutonium storage, to downblend, to shipping material for disposal, K-Area has shown the flexibility and resilience to rise to the challenge. The most recent mission expansion to include characterization, packaging, and shipping activities is just another example of how SRS and K-Area will do what it takes to make the world safer.